more than two rounds is going to let you see the sights more, okay, get more repetitions of tracking the sights through a single engagement, okay. Five round or six round strings are awesome because you get a lot of repetitions tracking that sight through recoil and coming back, okay. And what you also have to do with a five or six round string, you've got to be honest on your recoil management. If you're going to run five rounds as quickly as you can run the gun, you know, at this range into that paper plate, you got to have good recoil management and then you got to see that sight every time. Driving the gun out once with decent recoil management, press the trigger fast, get, gun, get two rounds to go in there close, right? That's not what we want to train. We want to get some repetitions. We're we'll tracking the sights through recoil, all right? And we're making sure that those sights are returning back to the target. And that's where we're evaluating our recoil management, okay? Should have been evaluating recoil management on the single shots too. You know, if you're firing a single shot, you know, and there, there's your target and the gun's at seven yards lifting that far out of the plate, you need to tighten up the recoil management. Because now we're counting on recoil management for sight recovery. Less sight recovery means we can shoot fast. Shoot slow. Shoot fast. Okay? All right. So some techniques we're gonna apply, remember that, that speed, all right? We're gonna apply a couple techniques to help minimize the amount of movement that comes into the gun, all right? As we step, we're gonna land with our heel, okay? And roll consciously, kind of roll our weight to that toe, all right? Something we're gonna do with that is when that heel hits the ground, let this knee give. If that's what's absorbing that impact. Is that knee giving and then it smooths out by rolling up to the toe, all right? So you got a little bit of excess movement, like this is my normal point A and point B walk. Okay. This is my shoot on the move point A and point B walk. Okay. Lower the center of gravity a little bit so I can hit with that heel. And as that heel is rolling to the toe, that gives a little bit. Okay. Even if we may potentially have to shoot when we get to point A to point B, we're going to save time by moving with the gun high. Not in our line of sight, right below our line of sight. Okay. That would be that position three kind of thing. We're gonna kind of work a little bit, modify between three and four. All right, so as we take that step, we can just drive the gun out like another, you know, six, eight, 10 inches worth of gun travel to get it back on the target. But all along we're moving, the gun's right here in my peripheral. Okay, so if this is where I need to set. As I'm setting, as my feet are getting stable, the gun should be driving. And then based on the size of that target, the distance it is from you, you can even be shooting before your feet are completely set. Okay. stay right there in the target and bring the guns to what we're looking at sit with the pistol and with the rifle all right bring the gun to your eyes all right now when the gun comes to my eyes no oh, my head is not on my nose is not anywhere near that charging handle it'd be really hard for me to get it there it's uncomfortable all right and if you do get that real forward lean this is another downside to that, that real aggressive way loaded out there kind of thing and, and locked way down in there all right the way our eye sockets are made all right we're made to see with our head straight up so that we've got peripheral vision you know all the way around you start lowering your head even without a hat without sunglasses your eye sockets start blocking some of your peripheral vision we're going to try to keep that head as straight up as possible we get a little lean out with our head starting getting some of that aggression out there we get our head kind of out over our chest chest kind of out over our knees that gets that weight forward to deal with either you know fighting something getting ready to move offline of something or shooting the gun right but try to keep that head a little more straight up to keep that situation away get your sights here before you shoot if that takes you three set three tenths of a second you gave this dude three tenths of a second to shoot you so i say shoot and then start driving the shots towards the middle all right to where you're gonna use that fight okay that's what we're getting out of that acceptable accuracy shoot. take this shot if that's the first thing you see right because you were looking at that the gun was coming to it okay where that comes into play is this movement okay if i take a step and my my foot hits the ground and we get a little bit of movement and the sights go there shoot the next shot drive it to the middle all right so you're going to get some of that movement you just saw it in the 
sights there. You're gonna get some of that movement in there as you're stepping, okay? But know what you can take and what you can't take. You can't take that shot, okay? You gotta wait until you can smooth that out and drop the gun back in. 